Oh. I've just watched my step here because it's uh, be a bit of a drop down. But here we go, guys. That's that's the pot coming up, the flu coming up and out. And lay a tray in. Um, obviously, just need to leave a wee weep or two on it just to allow any water that does manage to get in room to penetrate out. And he's got it, the lid folded up and then well silicone around and stuff as well. So it kind of looks a good job to me. Um, and obviously, just to build, build that up more. Um, yeah, I think it's going to look good. Have uh, We've got picked up clay clay chimney tops for it as well um they are they're like a black coating on them so kind of look nice and not not that it's something people look at all that much but i think that black just looked a bit better than the other one again sort of don't know what way this is going to get closed off probably once that gets built up we can put a bit of superlux across you can see a bit of superlux in there closing the cavity as well and again another wee quick look at the, the lead trays in behind that if any water does get in it's getting diverted all the way out to the bottom on the outside. but yeah today i need to pick up the the i'm going to get dry verge valleys i don't think they're called dry verge i think they're just called the dry valley um actually like a plastic a heavy duty plastic so I had to pick them up today, and then that's everything got for the roof as far as I know. Maybe a couple more bits and pieces to get nails maybe and stuff. But as far as I know, that's, that's the, the lot sort of picked up. Not not much building left to do. It's just really getting over the line and getting the roof loaded up so we can get rid of the machine. Um, yeah, it's all fun. But yeah, I think, think it sort of shows you what, what, what's happening for now. Um, again, just looking forward to getting this, these timbers all covered up and getting all them tiles up off the ground and onto the roof. And then I can make bigger plans from the, then on in. And hopefully I can do a lot more myself um, as well. At least it'll, it'll be dry. You can control the, the elements a bit better that road. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for now guys. It was a good wee quick update to the game. Looking forward to getting this covered. So this is the chimney coming up and out. Um, obviously it's going to need flashing around here. But a wee bit of a look inside it here. So I think the inside there will have for megalite still as well up and in. Um, for make lights basically it's basically like a, a fireproofer and um, the only problem with it is that one does seem a bit better than normal for make light that I'm used to but it's it's a fireproofing but most for make light that's that's got a different name most for make light holds the moisture like a lot so hopefully this one is a wee bit better than than that so yeah so basically the flu will keep coming up and then there'll be we're gonna have to put a cap on and then the final chimney pot so just really have to pick up uh, a chimney cap or we could corbel it um, just with blocks um, and then you know, it'll just be all me plastering which will be fun I guess right, so back on the side here um, again Hopefully we can get some of this up and out today. Um, but I'll just show you basically what way the, the other chimney's coming up and out. Just have to be careful squeezing on the scaffold here. I'm gonna actually hire that up one shortly. Just put it up 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 a lift so it can be walked under. But yeah. So as you can see, the chimney's coming up and out of the roof now, which is good. It's growing. Um, and the lead, and you can make that out. Lead come across, it's going up still, and then this one's coming down. There'll be a bit of a wee pole there. Might stuff a bit of a pipe in, just to keep that 
open, basically even open with a plaster. So it just always allows any water does get trapped into it, out basically. But um, maybe try and climb up and give you a wee look inside again as well. So yeah, coming on, coming on good. Just a uh, front peak to do, a um, couple of blocks up on that peak to do, and then the gauge. I think all the cavities all all closed. Um, I think the gauge may be a bit handier because there's a bit more room at the back. The the last not on yet for the for the soffit. So yeah. Progression. So this is the chimney coming up and out. Um, obviously it's gonna need flashing around here, but we a bit of a look inside it here. So I think the inside there will have for megalite still as well up and in. Um, for megalite's basically it's basically like a, a fireproofer, and um, the only problem with it is that one does seem a bit better than normal formiculite that I'm used to. But it's it's a fireproofing, but most formiculite that that's got a different name. Most formiculite holds the moisture like a lot, so hopefully this one is a wee bit better than than that. So yeah, so basically the flue will keep coming up, and then there'll be we're gonna have to put a cap on, and then the final chimney pot. So just really have to pick up. Uh, a chimney cap or we could corbel it um, just with blocks um, and then you know, it'll just be all me plastering which will be fun